Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dilip and you are watching the Data Labs. In this video, we will learn about bookmark in Power BI. So basically bookmark in Power BI, so using bookmark, we can capture the current configured view of a report like page, including filtering and states of visuals. So if you click on view and uh, a bookmark pin and as well as selection pin. So here you can see that uh, I have already created a bookmark, bookmark one. And if you click on this uh, three dots, so there are uh, several options available like update, rename, delete, uh, data, display, current page, all visuals and selected visuals. So we will go through each and every options uh, which are available here. So first of all, like uh, if you want to, if you have created a bookmark and you want to update uh, basis on selection, like if you want to modify uh, the bookmark, then you can uh, choose the selection from here and as well as uh, apply filter and again uh, click on update so what it will do it will uh, uh, store the current state, uh, state of all the visuals filters and uh, uh, like uh, highlights and cross filtering okay you can also rename uh, the uh, these bookmarks using the rename uh, rename so but just click on this and i am just uh, renaming it home okay and again uh, click on uh, this one and delete so uh, with the help of delete uh, you can delete the bookmark so all uh, like the selected bookmark will get deleted and the very important part here like uh, data display current page all visuals and selected visuals these are the very important part of the bookmark so uh, entire bookmark feature will uh, go through the, in all these options so let's uh, uh, understand all these op options available over here so using data like uh, the data option allows us to uh, uh, save the states of uh, filters like cross uh, highlighting drill downs and sorting as well as filters so if you select like here it has been selected so if it has been selected at the time of bookmarking then bookmark will uh, save the current available status so all these available status will get saved like uh, it's talk about uh, sorting, uh, highlighting, drill downs, sorting and filters. So uh, data uh, does not concern about uh, the visibility of uh, any uh, uh, visuals or not. Like it, it is talking about only uh, filtering, highlighting, cross highlighting and drill downs and sorting. Okay. So uh, if uh, we select this and we uh, uh, like create a bookmark, then uh, we will be able to uh, Whenever we use in uh, use that bookmark, then uh, uh, that bookmark will show the same states when it was captured. Okay, and here the second one is display. So display concern spotlighting and uh, selection pin. Okay, so display uh, if you like suppose if you want to spotlight. Okay, to uh, like this one. So this is the spotlight. And again, if you want to uh, some visuals uh, uh, hide, like I am, uh, I am hiding this uh, slicer. So if we will take this uh, bookmark, so just I am clicking on add bookmark, and I am just uh, clearing data as well as so I am uh, removing the data part and uh, keeping a display part and clicking update. So here. You can see that uh, we have two bookmarks. One is for display and one is for home page because uh, in in this in this bookmark we uh, uh, checked all the options available here. So as soon as you will click on uh, home, so it will uh, jump to the original states where we uh, created a bookmark. And once you will click on bookmark two, then what it will do? It will hide the slicer to slicer this one this slicer. So uh, the month slicer available here and it will spotlight uh, the sales by salesman so so uh, display uh, uh, talks about a spotlighting and selection pin so it uh, makes uh, visuals visible or hide okay so if you want to uh, want to switch uh, like 
switch the charts uh, from tableau view to other view or if you want to hide or unhide some visuals then you can uh, use uh, this feature uh, display one okay and the third option uh, in this group the third option is current page so current page allows us to uh, 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 save the current state of the page and if you will check then you can uh, uh, use the bookmark from other page as well so like if i will check this uh, current page suppose like i have already uh, i have already uh, selected in uh, home and if you want to uh, go there suppose i am in uh, all visuals and if uh, i'll create a bookmark page so i am creating a button bookmark okay and i can just drag it over here and just give it a name so button and home so i am trying to uh, uh, assign the bookmark action over this bookmark so that it can jump over the selected page okay so that bookmark and let's increase the font size a little bit more okay and let it as smaller so it's talk about home and just click over here and go to action and then bookmark and just select the home so as soon as you will select the home and if you will click because we are in designing mode in desktop so what we need to uh, like uh, while holding control key just click over here the bookmark and this bookmark will jump over the data page because in this bookmark we have you uh, we have checked current page so let's see uh, i am i am going to create another bookmark in the same way current page but uh, uh, like uh, current page is off okay then update and uh, rename so home without current page okay so this is the name of uh, the bookmark and let's uh, go to uh, all visual space and i'm going to insert another button that is the bookmark button let's uh, bookmark uh, just uh, drag it over here make it a little bit bigger okay and uh, just assign uh, a bookmark on this page so this is bookmark and uh, we have uh, three uh, bookmarks in this report like entire reports one is home that we have already assigned bookmark to and home without current page uh, so let's and once you click over here current so it it uh, you can see that we are still on uh, all visual space we are not ju jumping from all visuals to data because uh, that page is not associated like this uh, current page is not associated with uh, this one okay and this is the reason we are not able to uh, jump from all visuals to data page but uh, as like if you will click on over this uh, bookmark where, where we uh, checked current page then that bookmark like home bookmark is associated with this page and it will jump from all visuals to data data page okay so let's uh, click hold and while uh, holding control key just click on this bookmark now you can see that we are on data page so uh, so we have like all these options data displays and current pages so these are all important and we you need to uh, take care of uh, like uh, what you want to do with bookmark if you want to uh, like capture all the sorting status like filtering or if you want to uh, use the display uh, features only or if you want to uh, uh, like current page features then or if you want to all these features then uh, just uh, like it's based on our requirement and uh, you can use all these functionality basis our requirement okay and the last uh, like two is all visuals so all visuals talk about uh, the the bookmark which will be applicable for entire visuals okay so it will work on entire visuals and if we we uh, check selected so if this is toggle so either we can select all visuals or either we can select the selected visuals okay so at a time we can select only one options so selected visuals will will work only on selected visual uh, like uh, selected uh, objects over here look so let's take example uh, like and just uh, so uh, 
I'm t- I'm talking about this one. So month I'm going to uh, uh, create a bookmark. Okay, and I'm just providing uh, selecting May. Okay, so we have selected May in uh, uh, in this slicer, and just select this. So we have selected one, only one visuals that is uh, this slicer, and uh, like uh, rather than selecting all visuals, just uh, click on selected visuals. So it will work on only on this visuals. This bookmark will not wo- uh, work on other uh, visuals and other objects. Okay, so let's uh, rename this uh, update and just uh, rename this. Okay, so um, selected visuals. Okay, so uh, we have created a visual. So let's uh, click on home. So once you will click on home, then uh, the default options will be available over here. And once you will click on uh, selected visuals, so just see. So once I will click on uh, selected visuals, then it's showing the me because uh, we captured uh, the bookmark, the current, uh, the status was uh, the state uh, state of this uh, slicer was me, and it uh, me was selected at the time of uh, creating uh, that bookmark, and this is the reason it's showing uh, the month me. Okay. So we have discussed all these options like update, rename, delete, uh, data, display, current page, all visuals and visuals. So uh, guys, you can utilize all these features in creating bookmark and you can uh, design a page like a web page. So with the help of bookmark, you can uh, like create a custom dialog box like a message box, dialog box and uh, you can uh, overlay of like uh, you can create two layers and uh, with uh, on click of uh, any button you can show the uh, dialog box so dialog box if you are like creating a uh, report or dashboard and in that report uh, you need to show the stories to leadership team so you can create a layer with the help of bookmark and that layer will work as a uh, uh, pop up window or a dialog box so once you will click on a button that layer will uh, will be available above uh, like or visuals and it will show the storyline okay uh, that will really very very helpful and that will also uh, work like a websites like in websites we uh, we show the pop up window or some dialog box to uh, help the audience and to show the certain message to the audience okay so friends uh, it's all about the bookmark and in uh, next video we will discuss um, uh, about uh, how to create a dialog box with the help of bookmark in uh, power bi so that you can uh, you can uh, fill uh, like a website and it will uh, act like a website okay so thank you for watching uh, please like share subscribe and comment have a good day bye bye